The purpose of this movie is just to quickly show um, how adaptive components work. So what I'm going to start with is a conceptual mass model and create a, kind of an outline or a framework for a building. So what I'm going to do is let's just assume that I'm going to pick one of the the horizontal, sorry, the vertical planes. And what I'll do is I'll put some splines on that pl on that plane. So if I uh, if I flip to the front view here, and you see that I can go in and I can start to draw kind of an outline of my my building. And I'm going to do an, a second plane on here. I'm a second spline on here just to show um, how I can create that. Let's look at the other plane um, that is this one. So I'm going to look at that. I'm, I'm setting that as being the one that I'm drafting on. Then I'm turning to the front view. And I'm going to pick the spine command and I'm going to start drawing the form of my building here. I'll hit escape. I'm still in the command. And let's make it a little bit different on this side. So I'm just placing points in my model. And so what I've got now is I've got like a skeletal framework onto which I'm going to put my adaptive component. Let's make, let's uh, save this. I'm going to just save this and let's just call this um, building skeleton. Okay, and then what I'm going to do now is make a, a, sorry, a new conceptual mass, but this time it's the adaptive component. So I had, I think, just four points that were in my building skeleton, the, the four uh, splines that were used to outline the, the shape of the building. So what I'm doing is drawing four points in my model here and then converting them to make them adaptive. Now what I'm going to do is connect them together. I'm picking the line command and I'm using the 3D snapping to make sure that I go from point to point to create the geometry that I want to define that, that closed shape. Let's, let's just call that. I'm just going to say save as the family um, and I'll just call it um, adaptive example. Okay, if I now say load the adaptive example into the project, it, it uh, comes in here and I can go down and actually snap. You see that there are there were four points so I can go around and place them on my on my model. If I just rotate this a little bit so you can see it. Then what I'm going to do is just click on that adaptive component and holding the control key, which is what lets me make copies, I'm dragging it up. And you see that I can I can drag and release, but the actual uh, adaptive points that make up this component continue to adapt and follow the the spline line work that I had created for my for my model. So looking at that as it is at the moment, I've got kind of a wireframe of splines on planes and then the adaptive component uh, placed connecting uh, four points on those splines. If I if I hold the control key and I'm picking the the adaptive components and then I go and I say create me a form solid form. You'll see that I've actually got the kind of form of the building. And it's it's this is a bit more like working with clay in the sense that I can I can pick my spline and I can change the shape by dragging on the the points and see the change in my in my model. So any of those uh, splines that I select on I could change the shape 
and see my model update.